Today we're looking at lead code number 105. It's construct a binary tree from pre-order and in-order traversal. And so here we're going to get two integer arrays, a pre-order and in-order, where the pre-order is the pre-order traversal of the binary tree, and the in-order is the in-order traversal of that same tree. And we want to construct and return the binary tree. Okay, so here are pre-orders 3, 9, 20, 15, and 7. In order is 9, 3, 15, 20, and 7, and we construct this binary tree here. Okay, so let's jump in the conceptual. This is a, a tricky one to, to get your head around if it's your first time seeing it. Um, but the main thing to, to keep in mind here is that we want to look at the definition of pre-order and in order, and how do we get the ordering of this tree. So pre-order is going to be starting at the root, Okay, it, then it's going to go, let me, let me make this clear here, so it's going to start at the root, and then it goes to left, and then it goes to right. Okay, and in order is going to start at left, it's going to go to the root, and then go to right. So we know here in the pre-order, this 3 right here is going to be our root. Okay, and so what we want to do is we want to, in our main function, we want to go ahead and get that value at the zeroth index and set that as our root. Then what we want to do is we know that the root is going to be, um, we know what the value is for the root here, we just want to find the index in, in order. So here the index is at 1. Okay, and now what we know is that everything left of this in order is going to be the left subtree, and everything right of this index is going to be the right subtree. And that's what we want to recursively call throughout through our function and just let it recursively build out that tree. Okay, so that's the idea behind it. I'm going to jump in the code because I feel this one is, a, is, is much clearer once we actually code it out than, than trying to figure it out in the conceptual. So what we want to do here is first we want to set a base case. So if, uh, if pre-order and in or in order is empty, we want to just return null. Okay, or uh, in order, we just want to return null. Okay, so now what we want to do is we know that the zeroth index at pre-order is going to be our root. So let's go ahead and set our root is going to be, um, we'll go ahead and uh, instantiate a new tree node with pre-order at the zeroth index. Okay, and now we want to go ahead and get our mid index on in order. Okay, and so all we have to do here is we just say let mid equal uh, in order index of, and then we can just do root dot val. Okay, so this will give us the index of where our root is in the in order array. Now we just want to build up on our root recursively. So we just want to do root.left, which is going to be build tree. Okay, and we want to do preorder dot slice, and we want to start it at one and go to mid plus one. Okay, we're going to start it at 1 because we have already accounted for this 3 here, and then we just want to get everything on the left side of the tree. Okay, so we'll do mid plus 1. And now we can do in order and slice here, and we are just going to do um, 0 to mid. So that'll get us our left tree. Now we just want to get our right tree. So we do root dot right, and then here we do preorder. And we just want to do mid plus one because everything on the right tree is going to be right over here. Okay, so we know we have our mid, and we just want to get our preorder plus one and our, um, our, our, our pre order at mid plus one and our in order at mid plus one as well. And then 
once we have got our left and our right recursively, we just return our root. Okay, let's see here. Oh, mid index. We'll just change this to mid. Okay. And there we go. Now, um, a challenge that you can try is instead of slicing these arrays, could you do it with the indices? We could get much better time and space complexity if we use indices instead of slicing the array. So we just use the same pre-order and in-order array, maybe set a left and right counter, and then see if we can just use the indices instead of slicing. Uh, but that's a, that's a way we can uh, get better time and space complexity. Okay, so that is Leap Code 105, Construct a Binary Tree from Pre-Order In-Order Traversal. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.